surreal to be here on the red carpet. It is surreal. It's a dream come true. I'm enjoying, I'm fangirling over a lot of people, but I saw them last night, I have to admit, we partied um, last night a little bit, and um, this this is, I, I don't, words have, I can't even explain. Everyone dreams of coming to an award show. Walk me through the dreams that you guys had kind of in your career. Um, I think we've had many moments of, of self-realization where we look at one another and we're like, are we really here? I think we were Right now, when we were in the car, we're like, "Don't look at me. Look at out the window. I don't want to. I don't want to tear up the makeup." But it's more so the moment of us representing the Latinos, you know, Finally. experienced actress in the field for so long, beginning, brand new, you know, and just supporting one another in this journey, you know, looking to represent the woman as curvaceous as we are. And just and sexy, sexy. You know, we're just trying to um, represent us in a very positive way and um, live our dream and influence many others and open the opportunity for many others as well. Absolutely. Have you ever had fans reach out to you with touching stories that moved you about how you're influencing and motivating them? Definitely. I think that for me, every time I hear a young woman in the business saying thank you, I finally have someone who I can relate to, I can look to, and someone who looks like me, that's a big deal. You know, I grew up at a time where there were very few Latina representation on television and in Hollywood, so the fact that um, uh, Netflix, Lionsgate, Gen G has decided to put a couple of us in the show and uh, really showcase us and the beauty of how different we are and different shapes and colors is, is a true celebration. I think that Hollywood is changing, that it's not that super skinny celeb anymore, but there is a lot of pressure. I mean, coming here, I think I ate maybe a banana. How do you guys handle that pressure, and have you ever, like, gotten comments that, like, you need to be skinnier, you need to be blonder, whatever, that have you fought against? Oh my gosh, starting out, I was told that I was too too heavy or too bottom heavy, and, and then, you know, J-Lo came along, and I was like, and now what? You know what I mean? And so I think that we're celebrating curves. We're women. Women are supposed to have curves and, and be celebrated for that. So, you know, I was told that a couple of times and look at me now. <laughs> and that, you know, that stopped me from pursuing the, the, the field earlier. And now I'm like, you know, it's not the clothes. It's, it's the hanger and embrace your curves. And, you know, we're all different and it's about assortment variety. I mean, Nobody wants that just one red Skittle. People want to taste the rainbow. So I should probably, you're going to love that. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. I get a little poetic sometimes. But, um, you know, this is what it is, guys. This is a new era. And, uh, what, oh, my God, so did you. So did you. See, those are, see, that's, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs>